you know, <coughs> again, the we have now staff trained, you know, with 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 that in our system with the uh, the environmental education, um, and I'll you know talk about Nate a little bit later, but we do see that it is very important. It is, it is a part, when we had our master plan, Ms. Gretchen, I believe you, Ms. you all went to a couple of the meetings when we had the public meetings for the master plan, and we're putting all that together. And one of the things that was pretty evident throughout was, you know, normal folks were, you know, wanting to see more and more natural space, you know, um, access, more access points um, um, on our rivers and, and greenways, bike trails. Um, those are things that we are look, going to have to look at seriously. Um, at what, 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 how are we going to do that in the future? Um, we're a, a growing community, and as our community grows, our needs are different. And, and so I think um, we're going to have a good plan coming out soon that, that will be able to address you know, those, those findings. Because the findings of that plan are basically from folks that came out, answered the we sent surveys, random surveys. Had a lot of servants and surveys that came back. Uh, they analyzed those, you know, from the support meetings that we, we that we did have um, with the master plan all over the county. Uh, there was a, a group that were, you know, throughout the county of different people that from different areas that were part of a a support a group to come together as, as teams to see what they would like to see in our county. And I will tell you, there is quite a bit of stuff that um, different interests um, from the environmental side, and, and but also there is a, a, a huge um, positive remarks of trying to upgrade and add sports facilities, tournament type style facilities. And I, I know that that's not the main focus here, but one of the things that I think that can help bring as you all know, the economy, the way the economy is now, you know, tourism, whether it's, you know, you know, sports tourism or things of that sort, that is a key to our community when it comes to economy. We have some thoughts on that for you later. Okay. Um, but one of the things is, I think, you know, just to give you an example, the first week in February, we had an adult softball tournament. 65 teams from as far as Cincinnati, Ohio to Miami, Florida. You think 65 teams times, just say conservatively 10, that's 12, almost 1,500 room nights on a Friday and Saturday night in Lowndes County. In April, we had a USA um, Elite National Baseball Tournament, which was 9 to 14 year olds. And these were some of the best travel, as you, as you all, as you know, <laughs> travel teams, whether it's, you know, that's something that's, um, Folks will travel, will take, you know, follow their kids and pay whatever, you know, for these travel teams. And we had 50 teams, and I think 48, no, 48 teams, and 46 of them were from as far north as East Cobb, you know, Georgia, to Fort Lauderdale, Daytona, Tampa. It was Georgia, Florida showdown, and there was some Alabama teams. I mean, it was unreal. The economic impact that we're having from, and we've not even scratched the surface on what we can do in this in, in this area here. Now, here's another thing: when these people come to town, um, you know, a lot of times there's quite a bit of downtime. You know, they may play two games Saturday morning; they got the rest Saturday night, and don't have to come back till Sunday. Well, if we have a park system where, hey. We've got a Blue Wave Trail. We got, I mean, many of these families are looking for things to do to, to, to come and not just play baseball or softball or soccer or what have you. So, you know, there, there are a lot of outdoor adventurists. Because many times when the, if they have one son playing, they may have two brothers or a sister or everybody's coming down. They're wanting to get away from the park. So if we have not only great facilities, recreational facilities, but if we have a great outdoor recreation type adventure recreation, I think that's even going to help enhance what we're trying to do. It all works together, so to speak. So 
those are some things that we are, you know, looking to, to try to also renovate a lot of our existing facilities. You know, many of our facilities, we have great facilities, but as you know, as years go by, you, you, you have to maintain, you have to do maintenance. And, and those are things that we are, you know, trying to, to look at doing. I think we've done a, an amazing job of, of, you know, with the resources we've had to continue to maintain what we've got. Because I truly believe that in a parks and recreation system, you know, I see different counties or cities in Georgia, whether it's Splost in Georgia or whether it's um, a park bond referendum in North Carolina, you know, they, or Cherokee County passed a $90 million park bond referendum. Well, they have all these facilities there, but the, the key is, is if you're building new facilities, you gotta make sure you're still maintaining what you've got as well. It's good to have new facilities, but I think it's really key that, and I think our team, here in Mount Austin, Alice County, our, our staff and our authority board and folks realize that, you know, that's that's something that we've got to make sure that, that we do. We take care of everything we do have. So, 